What is up guys? Today we are talking about whether you can or should fly your drone in the rain or snow or really any precipitation. First, take a look at this short edit of the first time that I flew my drone in the rain. I hope you enjoyed that edit. It was foggy out, but not raining too heavy. So I decided to go out and uh, give it a go. It was a lot of fun. Don't worry, all of the thunder uh, and rain, obviously is sound effects that were added in post. So it was a lot of fun, but definitely a riskier situation. Adverse weather is one of the top reasons that people lose their drone. So whether you can or should fly your drone in the rain just kind of depends on so many different variables that just you, you will have to choose and know. The first thing you gotta consider is the weather. You've got much heavier wind. You've got actual rain that's gonna be weighing down the drone. And it's gonna affect its performance and how its maneuverability is. You've got lightning. I don't think I have to tell you that if your drone gets hit by the lightning, you're, uh, you're probably not gonna recover it there. You're gonna have poor VLOS, which is visual line of sight. I would recommend having a visual observer with you, someone that can watch the drone, just the drone. And on top of that, watch the weather, you know? A storm can be unpredictable. So they can kind of tell you whether you need to pull it back in, get in fast, or something's coming. If you're flying in snow, something to really be aware of, the rain too, is that your sensors may not work as you know you think they would. All the light really confuses it. It doesn't know where it is. Uh, also, I know they say with water that the sensors already don't do well, so that obviously isn't gonna be helped by rain. I've heard that snow is not like a light snow. Obviously, we're talking light snow, light rain. You know, I, I definitely would not advise anybody to go out and fly in like, you know, bad weather conditions. Uh, but apparently snow is not as bad for a drone than rain is. I can't attest to that myself. One thing you wanna consider is that in the cold air, the lower pressure, yeah, the lower air pressure um, will make the drone have to work a little bit harder and so your battery will drain faster. Also in the cold, your battery will just drain faster. So that's something to be aware of. All right, so the second thing you're gonna wanna be aware of and the variable, you know, cause yeah, I don't know if you can fly your drone in the rain is your drone. Uh, you're gonna wanna check the user manual, see what the rating is for it. That's, a, that's my dog Duncan, he's having a, he's having a cute little dream. He's a good boy. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, your drone. So is it water resistant? Is it waterproof? Is it water repellent? Check your user manual. That's gonna be the best place uh, to check. Check an IP rating. That's uh, the international protection marking. It's also known as the ingress protection marking. Uh, there's It's IP followed by two numbers. The first one is it's uh, protection against solids. The second one is liquids. So the second number is the important one. In this case, see how you know waterproof it is. Do you have large air vents that are gonna be sucking in water or snow, you know, that would be bad. Most drones that are consumer level, like a DJI Mavic Air 2 or the Mavic series, they have a plastic housing that's decent, but you know, it's not, it's not gonna be waterproof or watertight. 
Uh, I definitely wouldn't recommend taking it out in anything more than a light drizzle, but some drones are, are more waterproof than others, and some are meant to be used in uh, inclement weather, if that's the case. So just check what you have, see what you got, and see whether that's something you can do. Just know that your lens may get water on it, and you may not get as good a shot as you want. I, I thought it was kind of cool to see the water go on, on the lens while I was flying, but uh, you know, to each their own, if it gets blurry and you can't see anything, then what good are the shots? Okay, so you looked at your drone model, you looked at the weather, you decided, you know what, it's not that bad. My drone, it, you know, is water resistant, it should be okay. I think the, the odds are in my favor. I'm still gonna take it up. Good for you, I hope you get good shots. Uh, I took it out and I think I got some pretty good ones as well. And my drone's still working just fine. But you know what, I mean, accidents happen. Maybe you get caught in a flash storm, Maybe you took a dunk in a lake, but your drone is now soaking wet. What do you do? The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do with your wet drone, if you are able to recover it, is power it off. Don't remove the battery right away or do anything that get to a dry place. The type of water it got into does matter. If it was sea water, uh, that water is going to corrode your electrical parts a lot faster than normal water will. So you may actually have to rinse your drone off. I know it's kind of counterintuitive to just, you know, pour more water on your drone, but you're gonna to wanna to rinse it off with fresh or distilled water to try and get that salt water and that stuff that's gonna damage it more out before drying it off completely. Next thing is take the battery out. Try and keep the connector points covered if you can and don't get them wet, keep them dry. Uh, if your battery was totally submerged, hate to break it to you, but you probably want to get a new battery. Those lithium batteries are pretty finicky, and uh, it's definitely better to eat the cost of the battery than to eat the cost of your new drone once that battery fries your drone that you have now, or, you know, swells and pops out and your drone falls out of the sky. Then dry off all the visible water that's on it, you know, just take a, a rag, paper towel, dry it off, wipe it down, get it as dry as you can. Next thing, kind of like a cell phone, you know? Get a, get a bag of rice. Some people will say a black bag of salt in the sun with the drone in it does the job. Some people will say a bag of rice, you know, do whatever your old wives tale that you have is and uh, hopefully it works. I definitely would not turn it on anytime soon. Let it sit for a couple of days, dry out. Uh, don't try and turn it on to test it. That might end up doing a lot more harm than good. Uh, there are a lot of reputable drone repair shops that you could take it to that I'm sure would love the business and could be able to help you out. Definitely give you an estimate. You know, people have DJI Care Refresh. That's hopefully what this is for if you have it or, um, you know, people have State Farm or other insurance policies on it. That would be what this is for. So really, whether or not you can fly is gonna be up to you. Uh, what type of drone you have, what weather you have at that time, where I am right now. In Florida, it rains pretty much every afternoon. You constantly have to be looking and seeing the weather. That's different from where I grew up, where really you have rainy days and you have sunny days most of the time. So it just depends on the climate that you're in, uh, depends where you are. But bad weather is definitely just a part of flying and being in the airspace and, and enjoying the hobby that we love. So. Just be careful if you want to go. I definitely would caution you from flying in any heavy wind or rain, any of really bad weather, but I would say a light snow or a light rain, you, you could probably get away with, uh, at least with the Mavic Air 2 and above. I definitely wouldn't take a Mini 2 or below. Anything smaller than that would probably get caught in the wind and rain a lot easier. That's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my edit. I hope you got some knowledge out of this. I, you know, if you go fly in the rain, I hope this helps you make some educated decisions before you go send it. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, check out my Patreon account. As I'm traveling the US, I'm giving out homeless blessing bags to people that I encounter in need. Check it out on my Patreon account if you're interested in that. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy flying.